Hello, I'm Derek Tevers. This is your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. And I've decided we need a new truck. This is okay pickup truck, but we need a new truck. We also need a better trailer system for trucks because this truck, let's be honest, this is basically a baseline pickup truck. It is literally bumper pull or nothing. There's no fifth wheel in here. Ah. Oh. So sad. And I also decided we need another tractor. So let's jump into it. Let's go to our mods. In tractors, we have a class Xeron 3800 track. 380 horsepower, so we'll be able to pull just about everything we want. 262.9, 110 a day. Not bad. Let's buy it. Cool. In cars, a Lizard fifth wheel Ford pickup. <laughs> lizard fifth wheel Ford pickup. Huh? Uh, whatever. 220 horsepower, 40 a day, 35,000 to buy. Let's buy it in. I don't really care that color works. And in MISC, this is a convert from 2013, but it's a good uh, fifth wheel trailer. You can use a uh, regular semi cab. I'm hoping you can use a lizard to haul well as well. Heavy duty wool trailer, fifteen thousand to buy, fifteen a day. Do note, it does say mod author has said due to farm sim fifteen physics, don't put heavy equipment on here. Use it for bales or light equipment. That's it. All right, let's buy it. Cool. Let's see what we got. Oosh. All right, let's. Uh, that that class is nice. The truck is nice. Truck even has license plates from Illinois, and we have our our trailer here. It's got some nice. Look at those beefy tires. So basically, they took that truck, they jacked it, they put better tires on it, and they put a fifth wheel in it. Yay! All right. Well, that's not a bad thing. It's not Ford, but I'm just gonna point that out. All right. Here is our class. We can walk into the tires, but whatevs. I'm sort of fine with walking into tires, really. All right, let's... Okay, that's that's a little bit much, but... All right, let's get in. Get in! Start it. All right, I want to start by backing it out of here. It's got a nice engine, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the outside. Keypad... Uh, well, let's start with one. One. Blinker. 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 Okay, blinkers work. Five is steering. Hold on. Five. No, that's four. Duh. Okay, four opens up. I'm sorry. I don't know my numbers today. Four opens up a little thing. You got a can of soda and a wrench in there. That's nice. Cool. Five. Five is steering. I bet you I know what that does. Hold on. All right, so there's all-wheel steering. Pull back. That is all-wheel steering still. Five. Still all-wheel steering. I'm pressing keypad five, but it's not doing anything. All right, well, it's got all-wheel steering, which is a good thing. We like that. Okay, keypad six is door. And also lights. <clears throat> yeah. Door and lights. Can I turn them off? I can with the F key. So I can open up my door. Cool. Let's turn the lights back on. Now, oh, there. All right. Seven, eight, nine. Nothing. Beacons we've got. Cool. N is hitch. Ah, look at that. You can remove your uh, low hitch if you so desire. We're going to have to test whether that leaves something attached to it, because that would be really annoying. B, change drive direction. Aha! dun 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 Oh, ding. That's cool. Now does... Does 5 do something? No, it does not. So keypad 5 seems to not work, but that's... All right, well, cool. It does mean we need to buy a bumper pole thingamajiggy. I know that's it's a very technical term there. Let's uh, let's go with this and this. Bye. And there. All right. Let's start by testing that out because this it always annoys me when you hook up to something and you remove it that way and it still is connected. It looks silly. 
Never mind. Wrong thing. All right, fine. What hook's down there? Um, does this, perhaps? Does that maybe do it? God, that thing is huge, isn't it? <laughs> that looks like it should. All right. There we go. All right, now I go back to... Okay, that's nice, but I want to go back. Okay, so when you connect, you lose control over what to do with the tractor. So whatever you have set here. All right, so let's remove the hitch. Aha, look at that. You remove the hitch and you can't connect. That's actually good. I like it. I like it a lot. Good. Let's check PTO. Wow. Let's be run into everything. Wow. Let's drive through things. That's a good idea, too. All right. PTO. Yes. Three point. Looks good there. All right. Let's back her up. Let's back up. And let's try the rear. Or the front, depending on which direction you have the cab set. And I got, I got to get out to look at that one. Looks good. Good, good, good. Uh, I would say I would love for them to, to fix the clip pattern on the front, but that's a pretty cool looking tractor. Pretty cool tractor. Now, the question is, will it get dirty? Well, I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, that is a potato planter. This is a field that's going to be planted in potatoes. So let's, uh, let's potato plant the field. Do I have the little hitch? No. Now I do. Aha. This guy should, I hope, be strong enough to haul this thing. I mean, this is this is a beefy, beefy tractor. Good addition to your farm, especially if you're dealing with larger farm. Higher. Do your thing. Nice. I like the engine sound, too. The engine note is good on it. Cool. All right. The truck. Let's get in the truck. It's <laughs> they call it a Ford. It's got a Chevy logo here. It looks like a Dodge. It's a mutt truck. Let's just call it what it is. It's a mutt truck. It appears my my mirrors are acting weird, but I do have a I do have a mirror right there, so that's pretty cool. Four wheel drive and diff lock all work. You do still get the tail slide thing going on, but uh, you know mouse. Huh? Hold on. Mouse. What is... What is... Ah, okay. So we're going to mouse control that. All right. Well, that's cool. Now, I presume this thing is going to get dirty, too. I like the, the tires. Let's... Uh, actually, before I hook it up, let's grab the other pickup. This little thing. Put it in reverse. Let's uh, throw it back here next to this guy. So it is truly just a, an increase in height. And... <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Get in the truck, out of a truck. There we go. Just flop along. So we get uh, a grill, a plate. We get lifted truck. We get beefier tires. We get a better um, running boards. We get a fifth wheel. I'm down with that. All right. Cool. I'm down with that. All right. Let's see if it'll hook up to this. I hope not, actually. Based on the way it looks, I hope not. No. It will not. Aww. All right. So we'll have to look for a real gooseneck. Um, I didn't see one, and I wasn't looking very hard. So there you go. But... We've got ourselves a new truck. It looks beefier with the bigger, beefier tires. It looks more like a truck you can do some work with. The other one has road tires, which is fine, but it's not nearly as uh, farm specific, I guess. This is more something like you'd see around here. We, we can still drift the truck. Okay, <laughs> that's the truck. 
Now we got that trailer. What are we going to do about the trailer? Well, we have to buy a man truck really quick because, my goodness, I don't have enough of these things. My gosh, you, could, you should see my farm. It's just full of man trucks. Uh, hop over here. All right, so this trailer was a great trailer in Farm Sim 13 because it allows you to load a whole bunch of bales on it. It had a locking script on it because you needed that with Farm Sim 13. Uh, lift stand. The It does have a locking script, it appears, on here as well. If I remember correctly, if you don't lower that stand and you unhook this thing, you're going to have to reset it to, to fix it. We'll check that in a minute. Uh, oops, X. There goes our trailer. Okay, just because we can... <laughs> I'll put the truck on here. It does say just the light loads, but, you know, this is a pickup truck. It's not, not a terrible thing. Terribly heavy or anything. There we go. Truck is on board. Cool. All right, shut it off. Hop out. Run, 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 run. Okay, lock the load. Locked. Close the ramp. So again, great for bales. Uh, because it's got the lowering rear, you can also just drive the bales up onto the truck. And that will, uh, or onto the trailer, that will be a good thing as well. All right, there we go. We have ourselves a nice looking bale trailer. Now, what happens if I were to release it? Yeah, you gotta reset it to save it now. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. <sighs> yeah, because that actually happened in Farm Sim 13 as well. You have to remember to drop the lift stands before you detach it or this is going to happen. I'm cool with that. I actually like that. That's a good thing. All right, there you go. <laughs> uh, just a few interesting mods here. Uh, we got the conversion of the heavy bale trailer from 13 to 15. It's looking good. We've got the uh, new pickup. It has a fifth wheel. We'll have to find a gooseneck eventually for it. But right now it's a good looking truck. It is getting dirty. I can already see it on the tires. That's a good thing. And then we have the class. It is currently doing its job over there. He's about to hit that guy, but that's fine. Uh, the class 3800 track. Lots of goodies. Looks good. Sounds good. Runs good. Everything is good. Or mostly good. I've been Derek Trapper. This has been your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. Until next time, happy farming, everybody.